so at the end of the last episode, we met this uh, Siora person, and apparently she's like a native of this island we're on, this Tier for D island. And her mother is like the chief of her clan. And as we were coming here to pay a visit to our cousin and governor of this place, uh, Constantine, she insisted that uh, she get to speak with the governor. Hello, Top Cat Nine. Uh, you're watching on Twitch as well, Jesper. Cool. Uh, yeah, I heard that the video quality isn't as good on Twitch. Let me know what you think. Uh, and then we spoke with the Sierra person right at the end of the last episode, and she asked us some strange questions, or or we had the opportunity to ask her strange questions. We asked her about her father, and then we asked her why she thought that we were a native, and they just those questions just seemed kind of out of the blue. Um, but uh, anyway, she is on our team now. Uh, although, okay, there's Kurt right there. So this is my uh, group here that I'm traveling with, and what we're doing doing this quest where, I mean, we're just supposed to find Constantine at the palace. There's no further information over here. Um, so, yeah. Um, just just go find Constantine at the palace. That's it, man. That's all there is to do. So let's go into the palace and find him. Barge our way in there. We always make our presence known. Oh, gosh. When that person crouched down, I was like, what are they doing? Well, this is a pretty cool looking place here. Uh, it looks like he's upstairs. Huh. We saw this uh, same painting in somebody's house in Serene. So it looks like they just reuse these paintings. That's okay. Yeah, Flora, one of the things that uh, we talked to uh, Siora about was if she found us attractive. The fact that she thought we were a native, if she found that attractive. <laughs> It just seems so strange to me. Yeah, uh, yeah, Top Cat, this game does kind of have a Assassin's Creed Unity and Black Flag kind of feel there to it. There you are, dear cousin. What is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora, daughter of Vladnid, daughter of Meb. My mother is the Mal, the chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. If you would allow me, Princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, that sort of thing, but also to discover what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire, the time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with, um, the Queen, dear cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. Perfect. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, dear cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Well, I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to me either. Hey, Capsel. Hey, Ryan. Thanks for joining. So, <laughs> Constantine got right to business there, right in front of uh, our guest, uh, saying that uh, he wants us to go meet with the Bridge Alliance governor and ask about the Malachor. And speaking of the Malachor, I thought that this thing on the side of our face was the Malachor. I don't know if I could get a closer look at my face or not. Um, but, I mean, you've seen it. There's this... There we go. He turned his head so we could see him. There's this thing on the side of his face that I assumed was like the starting of the Malachor. Um, but then we look at this uh, woman here 
and um, well, I can't get her to turn. Uh, she also has it on her face. I don't know if you saw it or not, but um, yeah, right here. She has that as well. So does she have the Malachor also? And wasn't it weird how when we walked in here, uh, Constantine was like, whoa, you two look like you could be relatives. So what's up with that? Are we like secretly a native of this island maybe? Ryan's asking if I'll play Metro Exodus. I don't know, I might play it one of these, uh, Ryan. I'm not buying any new games right now. I mean, I, I don't think Metro Exodus is a new game, but I'm not adding any games to my collection since I'm out of a job right now. But uh, maybe one of these days I'll get it. I played um, the first Metro game and it was okay. It was all right. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, about the thing on his face. I don't know. It's just, just interesting. Um... Joker's asking, are those horns on her? Are there horns? I wish I could get a better look. I don't think they're horns. No, I think that's just the way her hair is done up, I think. She's made horns with her hair. That's what I think. Maybe that's what you meant. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Interesting. So, let me get back here. We're going to look at our current quest now. And now we've got old countries in a new world. We're supposed to meet the Teleme governor and ask about the Malachor. I mean, that's why we're here, right? We're looking for a cure to this Malachor. Then we need to meet the Bridge Alliance governor and ask about the Malachor. Uh, but we also have this other quest here, the Battle of the Red Spears. We're supposed to reach the village of Vedra. We're supposed to reach that village. <laughs> Uh, I assume that's her village. And I'm actually quite eager to uh, escape the city and get out into the countryside just to see what it's like. Um, so it's interesting. These are both part of the same quest, a cure for Malachor, it looks like, right? Um, and then we still have this quest right here where we're supposed to come back two days later. If you saw the last episode, you know what this about. This is about we're supposed to come back two days later and um, help this shopkeep deal with these people who are trying to extort him. So I'm a little worried to leave um, uh, New Serene uh, and go out into the wilderness because I might not be able to come back two days later. So maybe as boring as it sounds, uh, maybe I need to meet with this governor and the, these governors here uh, before I go running off to a new village. I think that's probably the more responsible thing to do. So if we look on the map, we'll see that um, we need to go in this direction. If we look on the more close-up map, well, we have to leave this place first. <laughs> King Obob says, who else thinks Mental Fox's voice reminds you of doc documentaries? Uh, I've had a lot of people say that, King Obob. Um, yeah, let's get to it, man. Let's get out of here and uh, go pay a visit to the governor's old boy. Oh, do you have a moment? Sure, fine. Now, what do you want me to do? Thank you for coming. I know that you're very busy, but I need your help. I'm listening, sir. This island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. As you know, your uncle has asked me to draw maps to facilitate the merchant's travels. Alas, I'm slightly too old to be roaming the paths, setting up camps here and there. So I'd appreciate it if, as you travel, you mark the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. I knew I could count on you. Uh, one more thing. Do you remember <laughs> that gigantic creature that you defeated in Serene? Uh, bringing a specimen to the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable. But according to my sources, there are others of them on this island, and your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during an expedition to study them. Mm. Naturally, I cannot ask you to rummage through the entire island looking for him, but if you can find any trace of him, his studies on these giant creatures could be immensely useful. Very well. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. The road to knowledge is long and difficult. But this is the price of wisdom, Desade. So he wants us to mark locations on the map that uh, we deem safe. I wonder if that's something I'm going to have to remember to do or if it's something that's going to happen automatically. I don't know. <laughs> nice to meet you, King Obop. 
Uh, Florisol, you'd love the job of exploring and creating maps. That would be awesome, right? Uh, will I play Warframe someday? I don't even know what Warframe is, King of Bop. I've never heard of it. Okay, so, um, old countries in the new world, meet the Teleme governor. Let's look at this one on our local map. And the loc, oh gosh, he's not even on this map. Hmm, looks like we need to do some walking to get to this place, I guess, huh? Huh. It is up here in this general direction. Hmm. Okay, yeah, like I said, I'm a little bit worried about leaving this place because we need to be here to help this guy in a day and a half or so. Direct access to the map of the region. On your local map, you will find important places and characters as well as quest objectives. Open the local map. Okay, I did. What about it? I opened the local map. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right, travel. Okay, well... I guess it doesn't make any sense if I could fast travel there, but at least now I know which direction to go in. I go here, I turn left, and I walk up this way, and then we just um, head on out this way, I guess, but I don't want to get too far away. Actually, now that I think about it, let's see where the uh, other governor is. Maybe he's in town, and um, maybe I don't have to walk as far to see him change the follow-up. Okay, so now I'm going to gonna uh, look for this guy display this guy on the map yeah it looks like he's probably in pretty much the same place uh, he's in this direction instead okay well I guess it's not too far away I don't know man just just uh, I don't want to leave that shopkeep high and dry it's important that we uh, protect that guy right I feel like the game is setting me up for failure here so Warframe is free, huh, King of Bop? I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll check it out if it looks interesting. I like free. Free's good. Alright, let's pick up the pace a little bit. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm, how do I get out of this town? That's what I want to know. I mean, certainly I don't have to climb over a wall to get out of here. Let's see what the map looks like. Um, well, maybe there's some stairs over here that I could take. Let's go see. Oh, here, maybe there's a... I can't get around that wheelbarrow. Uh, here's a gate here. Okay, this should work. Oh, here we go. Out into the countryside. We've discovered North Road exploration. Tier 4D is made up of several regions connected to each other. As you explore, you will discover campsites. They allow you to rest and travel quickly. When you reach the end of a road, use the travel interface to select your next destination. There are also caravans near major cities for you to quickly travel from one city to another. Okay. Hey, King Rat. How you doing? No, I just started about uh, 10, 15 minutes ago, King Rat. Uh, we went and spoke to Constantine, and he wants us to go and uh, meet with these governor dudes to talk about the Malachor. That's what we're doing. Hi, Darko. Oh, okay. Hopefully you just heard my quick uh, summary there. Let's go talk to this uh, caravan dude, I guess. Speak to the caravan chief. What's up, caravan Greetings. chief? Greetings! Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through all the cities. So, where should I drop you? Um, we could travel to Hikmet or San Mateus. Interesting. We could travel to places we haven't been to yet? Uh, honestly, dude, I'd rather walk. Uh, I'm new here and I'd kind of like to get a, the lay of the land. Thanks, but I'd rather walk. Yeah, thanks. I'll keep my ten gold and walk this time. There, you can see a good view of that stuff on the side of her face here. The same stuff that we have on the side of our face. I don't think I've seen it on the side of Kurt's face, though, so I don't know what is up with that. Like I said, I thought it was the Malachor, uh, but maybe it's not. If we look at the map now, uh, it actually looks like maybe I want to take this path, maybe? I don't know, this one kind of curves over, too. Um, let's take this path. Sure, why not? Uh, huh. Nope, this is kind of looking like it goes down to a quarry. This is not going to take me where I want to go.
Oh, that's cool. Cool view. This is a good looking game. Ooh, oh, what do we get here? Look how excited I get. Uh oh, I hear a little bit of music playing. You hear that? Did you hear that? Just just a second? I think we're gonna get into a battle here pretty soon. Hello, Alex Moore. Yes, I'm glad you finally got to see a live stream. Hope you enjoy. Picked up some Hawthorn from this tree here. As you can see, we've left the city. Oh, hear, the, hear that music? That means battle time. Uh, hopefully, uh, Siora can fight, because I really liked traveling with Kurt and Vasco. They were good companions. Wenshagana, the Singing Waters, North Road, and Vedred, the Red Woods. Which way do I want to go? Let's look at the map. Uh, yes, I want to turn this way. Yeah, you know, Alex, it's a pretty cool game. Um, it started off kind of slow in my opinion, but um, it's really picked up. And as you can see, it's a beautiful world to explore. Look at that thing floating in the air right there. Okay. Uh, use V as you leave an area to open the travel interface. Each long journey will take you through a wandering merchant's camp. What? Long journey? Hello, host of the nightmare. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, I'll be okay. I'll be all right. Um, not fired. <laughs> Hopefully my company will stay in business after all this is over with and I go, can go back to work. Uh, so I bring up travel and I guess I'm supposed to... Do I click here? Travel. Travel. Oh, travel duration 2 hours and 24 minutes. Hmm. I am playing on PC King of Bop. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's two hours, two and a half hours... And, uh, like I keep saying, we need to make sure that we're back here in time to help this dude. We have a whole day and 18 hours, so I think we'll be okay so long as I don't spend too much time in this place. So, let's go ahead and travel up here. <laughs> you think the game's setting me up, Joker? <laughs> uh, let's see what happens. Oh, okay, we've discovered a camp in the woods. Oh. Uh, during the long journeys, you can stop at a wandering merchant's camp. There you can buy or sell items, manage your companions, or access your chest. The crafting table allows you to upgrade your equipment and create potions. To continue on to the next area, continue down the path. Okay. Alright, interesting. Hey, is this... It's Vasco. What are you doing here, Vasco? Let's talk to him. Desarde, I have a favor to ask. Okay. Very well. I'm listening. Do you remember the story of Jonah? Of course. Well, I'm like him. A donation to the sea. Hmm. My family also gave me to the Norse. I don't know anything about my real family, except that they are probably affluent and from the congregation. When I was born, the Norts and the Merchant Princes had a complex relationship. I must have been used to settle a debt or forge a truce, but that doesn't matter. The mystery of my origins has now become an obsession. I need to know where I come from. If I were patient enough, I'd wait to become a fleet commander, and then I would be told. But since being laid off, hmm. such a promotion seems somewhat improbable. And you want me to help you find this information? You understand correctly. The records of all seamen stationed on the island are in their respective ports. Mine must be in the harbor office in New Serene, and it must contain my family name. But if I go there, I'd be spotted right away. Could you go there and bring the file to me? Dude, I would be more than happy. More than ha Take care of it now or put it off until later. That's weird. Um, you know what? He helped us. He let us borrow his outfit in the last episode. <laughs> Let's take care of it now. Of course. But you will have to come with me to the port and tell me a little more. Right. Also, I don't want any knots to be hurt in the process. Despite my desire to know my origins, the Norts are still my family. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. Okay, so uh, we need to drop Kurt from the team. Uh, or maybe I, you know what, let's drop Siora from the team. The problem is I don't know where I'll find her again, to tell you the truth. If I remove her from the team, I don't know where she'll go. But then again, I don't know where Kurt will go either. Um, I guess this is as good a time as any to find out where she'll end up. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so now we have this new quest call, called A Name for the Family. Is that a good video card, Alex? Um, I'm more of a NVIDIA guy. I don't, I mean, I'm, RX 580, is that a, 
like a a Radeon card? It's been a while since I built a PC. Uh, I'm sorry to hear those blue screening on you, man. It's always good to keep Ciora, says Alex. <laughs> well, um, I, I kind of did that just to see where she would end up. So um, it's kind of an experiment. So let's go ahead and switch back to side quests. Oh gosh, look at all these quests showing up here. Name for a family, we're gonna follow this quest. We're supposed to scout the Harbor Master's office. And uh, if we display that on the map, it is back in town. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get back to town real quick. Um, can I go back? I wanna go back, that's what I, oh, okay. Um, can I not go back? Can I only go forward? Looks like, um, looks like Kurt has something he wants to say to us. Gosh, everybody wants to talk. Hello, Crimson Norseman. Hope you're doing well. Greenblood, there's something I would like to talk to you about. Uh, of course I'm there listening. is. I recruited a young man for the guard a few months ago. Talented. Very talented. And honorable. I've been tracking his progress, and I learned that he's been sent to the barracks in New Serene. I would like you to meet him so that you can give me your opinion. My opinion? On what? Ever since our departure from Serene, I've spent nearly every second at your side. But I have clear standing orders to assure the protection of Constantine. And I don't know his guards. Not well in any case. I see. You've been thinking this recruit might be a suitable personal guard? Precisely. And your opinion has weight. I can see that you're busy with some other matters. We'll see to this later. If you find a moment. Anything else? Um, no. I must leave you. Okay, so <laughs> you're getting tons of quests now. Oh, there she stands right there. She's just hanging out over here. Okay, maybe um, these camps is where I will always see uh, my adventurers, right? I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, so I'm kind of changing my mind. Um, how do I? Let's see here. Compose my team. Can't, I'm, since since it doesn't look like it's like I can figure out how to get back to New Serene easily, I'm gonna. Oh no. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to back out of here. I need to go into my quests. Uh, I need to go back to this quest and uh, follow this quest. Okay, go back. Change my team. No, Vasco's locked in, man. I cannot get rid of Vasco. Hmm. Well, I thought if I dropped that quest, I could get rid of him, but I guess I can't. Oh, crap. I gotta figure out a way to get back to New Serene. Oh, Gone Home's a cool game, Alex. I hope you like it. Oh, you taking off, King Obop? Okay, have fun watching Pokemon in Japanese. Bye. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess I'll stick with this. Um... Man, I need to figure out how to get back to... Let's see what happens if I go forward. Maybe I'll get an option to travel back? Travel, pause... No, but it's gonna take me on forward. Crap, I don't have Ciara with me! Daggone it, how do I go back? Let's try this. Let's go back, travel... Uh, I want to go back to New Serene. And I want to go back to the port quarter, I think. Eh, let's travel back. That was, a, that was kind of a waste of time, but I couldn't figure out a way to get back. Uh, now we're back here. Now I need to come back over here. This is kind of cumbersome. Okay, and now we travel back to the port. Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbor office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance is impossible. There must be a blind spot. There's always one. You could dress as a knot and go mm -hmm. through the back door, but someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes, but since I'd rather avoid hurting any knobs, I made some inquiries. The Harbor Office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search. It's a proven technique. And I can assure you, they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Let's get some sleeping pills. Then we'll go see Dieter. Man, this game really, really, really wants me to spike somebody's drink. Sheesh. I mean, I was thinking, cool, we'll just, um, you know, put on Vasco's not outfit again and sneak in the back door like we did before. But, um, 
that does not seem to be good enough. All right, let me switch back to his quest here. Follow his quest. Okay, go back to here. I see. Hello, Sky Lighthouse 11. Hope you and your family are safe. Thank you for all the videos. They're fun to watch, especially during this time of crisis. Thanks a lot. Uh, you know, that's one of the reasons I'm doing this, uh, not just to distract myself from everything that's going on, but uh, hopefully to distract everybody watching as well. So hopefully we can all have a good time here. Um, sleeping pills are back on the table. So uh, this quest here, we're supposed to acquire sleeping pills using a sleeping potion. I have science skill now, so maybe I can make sleeping pills. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, if I look at the map, um, this thing is not really telling me where to go to craft sleeping pills. And I don't know if I've found a workbench here in town yet that I can use to craft sleeping pills. So I'm really not sure what the heck I'm supposed to do. But this person wants to talk to us, so let's go over here and talk to them. Get another quest, I guess. Good day, my lord. Desade. I'm the emissary of the congregation on Tierfredi. And cousin to the governor. I know exactly who you are. Enchanted. I am Admiral Cabral, and I see that you're accompanied by one of our own. Hardy winds, Vasco. Hardy winds, Admiral. <laughs> you are still angry with me for keeping you ashore, are you not? You'll one day thank me for it. But I don't suppose you've come to talk to me about affectations. What can I do for you? Well, you can leave, I guess. <laughs> I can't talk to her about anything. <laughs> All right. It was an interesting little aside there. She said, you know, Vasco, I bet you're still angry with me for you know, removing your captaincy, but you'll thank me for it later. We'll see about that. Hi, Shannon. You know, I was thinking we were going to dress up as a nod again, but the game is insisting that I make a sleeping potion again. Hello, Mike Hunt. You gotta say that name slowly. I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. Okay. Um, yeah, so we did not have anything to talk to her about. Where the heck... Am I supposed to make freaking sleeping potions? I guess I need to go to one of these travel places, don't I? I think that's what it's telling me. But uh, there's not an easy way to get there and come back. I would really rather just put on some knot clothes and sneak around back and get into this place. But I don't know where the place is because the game's not telling me. The game is insisting that I acquire sleeping pills. So if I display it on the map... Oh, it doesn't show anything. So, ah, man, I tell you. Um, huh. I am open to suggestions as to what to do here. Um, hmm. I don't know, man. All these other quests are turned off. I have this quest on. I need to acquire sleeping pills. And then it says sleeping potion over here. I mean, can I buy sleeping pills from a merchant, maybe? I mean, I guess I'll go try that. But I mean, I really think I need to find one of those workbenches, and I haven't found one. And when I look at the map, I don't notice any question marks on the map which would indicate a place I haven't discovered yet. So, I don't know, man. Alex is saying, I really would like to see you play this one game. It's very comedic. Made by the people who made the Stanley Parable. Dr. Langiskov, the Tiger, and the Terribly Cursed Emerald, a whirlwind heist. That's quite a name, my man. I should farm for supplies, uh, Kingobot? Maybe I should. Um, but I need to find a workbench so that I can craft some stuff. Let's see if this guy sells sleeping pills. Welcome! It's such a pleasure to see... Have you seen any... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Buy. Mm, let's see, this is ingredients. Sleeping potion. Okay, so I guess I buy sleeping potion, and I think I need four of these, don't I? Is that what this is telling me? Yeah, I need four. Okay, and he just happens to sell four sleeping potions, so it looks like I came right to the right place, huh? Okay, buy. Quest items. Sleeping potions. Hopefully I have enough gold. Yeah, I've got enough. Right, yeah, I've got enough gold. Purchase. Purchase all four of them. I'm going to clean out the stock here. Cool, Alex. I'll put that game on the list, definitely. 
Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Okay, so now, now what we have to do is convince Dita, the owner of the brothel, to help us. And that is up here, so that's not too far away. So we turn around and run back this way. Oh, something to loot. A little bit of farming in town. Dragon blood resin and borage, whatever that is. All right, we are going to go in a brothel, so if you're under 18, look away. <laughs> I don't know anything about Pokemon, King of Bop. Um, okay, I need to talk to somebody downstairs, it looks like. Oh, well, it's quiet in here. Uh, this does not look like the way down. I need to find some stairs going down, I think. Uh, maybe over here. Here we go. Yeah. Does this sign say anything? Nah, it doesn't. This part of the establishment is reserved for regular customers who paid an entry fee. Sorry, but I can't let you in. It's quite a voice. Pay the entry fee. Fine. Here's 24 more gold. Whatever. I'll get more. I do find the story a little bit hard to follow, Skylight House. Some parts of it anyway. Some of it's okay, but then some of it is just so complicated. In that case, allow me to pay the fee. We're delighted to have you as a regular customer, Your Excellency. Have fun. Uh, I have not seen Days Gone. Darko, is that a is that a movie, a game, a TV show? I don't, I'm not familiar with that. What's going on down here? This place doesn't look like a brothel. I thought we were going into a brothel. I guess we're not. Hmm. Well, I guess we go this way. Can I go in? Just barge in. Well, I guess they're closed. Or this is the lamest brothel ever. At least there's a couple people standing around in here. Alright, dude. I'm supposed to talk to you, Lieutenant Dita. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? Uh, well, I'd like to talk about the drink shipments to the knots, apparently. It seems like you're sending girls and wine to the harbor office every night. So, there's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dita, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? <laughs> Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. Hmm. Oh, good lord. We could try to use our charisma to convince him, or we could offer a bribe. And once again, I wish that I would have spent my uh, my talent point on charisma instead of science. But uh, it's a 50-50 shot. Let's give it a try before we go spend another hundred of our very quickly dwindling gold supply. Captain Vasco is very influential among the Nords. Maybe he could help expand your excellent clientele even further. Ooh, good argument. If you accept, I could arrange for your agreement to come to fruition. In San Mateus, for example. After such a blow, <laughs> I may well win a deal in San Mateus, but I'm pretty sure I'll lose the one I already have. You will have to find another way to perform your little joke. Sorry. Mm, that didn't work. Ah, uh, jeez. Whoa! It looks like my plan has fallen apart. I'll have to be discreet. You should dress like a knot, and maybe take a haze potion. Okay, yes, we're gonna dress up idea. like knots anyway, it looks like. Hey, Gostano. Thanks for joining. Uh, if I buy a cape, it will give you a point to charisma. Oh, that's good to know. I'll give that a shot. So, now we're to where I wanted to be in the first place. I never really wanted to do, do the sleeping potion route, but now that I've spent all that freaking money, I think it was like 16 gold per sleeping potion. I bought four of those. Then I had to pay 25 or coins to get down here. So this is all very expensive when it turns out that all we're going to end up doing is dressing up a knot as a knot anyway. Um, and one thing I don't like is that Vasco just said, hey man, maybe you should try a haze potion. But that's not written here anywhere, so that, I guess that's just something I'm supposed to remember. But I don't need no stinking haze potion, man. I am the master of sneaking. Let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, Flora, I'm excited. We're going to dress up as a knot again. Playing dress up is my favorite part of this game. <laughs> I 
Yeah, definitely can go bot. Got to do me more charisma. Absolutely. Um, uh, okay, well, let's um, let's bring up the character screen. That's not the character screen. Okay, we're going to switch over to uh, Vasco and we're going to strip him. So we go here and we uh, take this off. Can I just take it off? Item already equipped. So I have to just put something else on him. I can't I can't just leave him naked. Sorry. Uh, so we go here, we go to this, put on those old gloves, not enough points, whatever, just put on those gloves, and then his footwear, put on some soft old boots, and now he's looking like just a regular old Joe, and now we switch over to us, and we put on, the, oh, I gotta get the hat too, second in commands, collar and coat, this is a little cumbersome, but I guess it's not that bad. All right, let me get back to the hat. I forgot to get uh, Vasco's hat. Give him the fashionable hat. It's a good thing I have an extra hat to give him. Go back to me, change my hat. Okay, we look like a knot. Um. <laughs> hey, Dwight, I didn't see you join. <laughs> Maybe I can get Jesse's banana pantsuit to wear. It's pantsuit to wear. That would be awesome. I love that outfit. That bright yellow outfit. We're talking about uh, the game Control, in case you don't know. Thanks, Captain McCloud. Thanks for joining. I didn't see you there. Looking good, right? Yeah, I look like a knot. Okay. So, apparently we're going to go here and return to the port. As soon as I can get out of this menu. Okay, to the port we go. We've dressed up as knots. Yeah, sorry, Florisol, no naked. <laughs> uh, let's just jump over this. Just get some exercise. Okay. It would be better if you go there at night. It would oh, be much more discreet. <laughs> we can wait here if you're ready. Go there at night. Fine, let's wait till nightfall. I'm ready. We just have to wait for nightfall. Sure. I All got right. nothing better to it's do. It's dark enough. It's time to move. I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk getting caught there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Disardi. Yeah, now that we know we can't stealthily knock someone out. Okay, infiltrate the Master Harbor's office. Let's see where that is on the map. It's right over here to the right. And, um... I'm gonna guess that we need to just climb over this fence again like we did before, maybe? That's what I'm gonna do. And since we're wearing a knot outfit, uh, I don't think that uh, we're gonna get into too much trouble. Yeah, Dwight, they just stood there for several hours. <laughs> Oh, somebody's looking for something. Uh, I am not married King of Bop, Bop, but I do have a girlfriend. Uh, we've been together for 10 years, so we're married in every, every way except legally. Hmm, something there. Maybe this is what I'm looking for. Let's, let's just search. Pick up. Key to the new Serene Harbor office. Okay, well, that was just kind of sitting there. Uh, Skylight House is asking what... Of all the games that I've played so far, which one is your favorite one? You know, I don't know what my what my favorite one is. It's kind of hard to think of off the top of my head. But uh, the first thing that comes to mind is Prey. It was such a cool game. Uh, I wish there were more games like that. I really, really oh, enjoyed playing that. Where is that. This guy's looking for something. Let's go talk to him. Oh, okay. Maybe we won't talk to him. I don't know what he's looking for. Maybe he was looking for that key we just picked up. Okay. Well, um, this guy... Let's, you know... Let, let him walk on by, because I don't know if he's going to oh, care. Key, I'm gonna get my arse kicked again. Yep, he was looking for a, a key, all right. Okay, good. We shut the door behind us. I'm going to get into crouch mode. And I need to steal Vasco's personal file. I'm going to hit F5 here, just in case I really screw this up. Oh, that's cool, Dwight. You found me through Prey. That's awesome. Witcher was awesome. Um, I liked The Witcher, the original one, and Witcher 3. Um... And I, I did love The Witcher 3, but Prey is more my style. It's I, I'm, I'm more of a science fiction guy than I am a fantasy guy. Uh, so Prey was just more up my alley. Those are good games, JDZ. Um, I haven't played Detroit Become Human yet. I do want to play that at some point. 
So there's somebody up here, which is bad for us. Oh gosh, there's two people up here. Oh crap, this is gonna be harder than I thought. I thought it was nighttime. Why does it look so bright outside? I thought we were sneaking in here at night so that people wouldn't see us. And I'm not 100% sure where I'm supposed to be going. Maybe in that door right there. So maybe if I time this right, when this person is intently inspecting the work being done there, maybe I could sneak around here. And I'm not sure whether they'll be able to see me there or not. So I need to time this right. See you next time, King of Bop. Uh, I do like story games, JDZ. I have to check out Dest Detroit Become Human. Okay, so... Oh, get around the corner, dude. Sometimes I get stuck on corners. So where'd that person go? Oh, they're over there. Okay. Okay, boy, they're just looking all over the place. Now they're coming this way. And... I, I guess I have to get through that door. Here I go. Wish me luck. I'm sure they don't hear my boots and the way I bash through doors. Okay, we're in. Um, hmm. Okay, this does not appear to be the room that we need to search. Skylight House I play. Uh, I also have a PS4. It's been a long time since I played it. It's been a while since uh, there's been anything on it that I really wanted to play. But uh, yeah, I have a PS4, but I mostly play PC. I hate the way he bashes through the door. I mean, it's a good thing nobody was in here. I can't look through a keyhole first. There's a mirror over there. Sorry, I'm a little interested in the mirror. I was wondering if I could see my reflection, but no. Can't see my reflection. My Skyrim episode 11 is posted four times, King of Bob? Really? Oh, that's weird. Um... I had uh, a little bit of trouble with it. Uh, YouTube changed their upload thing, and now you have to like answer all kinds of questions. And I probably answered them more than once, so maybe it posted it four times. Crap, man. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Captain McCloud, uh, I have not disclosed my age. <laughs> uh, let's see, Vasco's personal file. Uh, Vasco's complete personal file stolen from the Harbor Master's office in New Serene. I'm gonna take everything. Okay, well, we got his personal file. Yeah, that sleeping potion would have come in handy, right, Joker? But so far, so good. It would be really awesome if I could climb out this window here, but uh, that does not seem to be an option. So we're going to have to time this just right. And it's going to be hard to time it because, um, like I said, I can't look through a keyhole. So I'm going to have to listen to the footsteps, maybe, to try to determine where this person is before I go barging out this door. This is going to be hard, man. Around there, Captain McCloud. Okay, so I guess I have to listen to the footsteps. Sounds like they're coming this way, maybe. Right? It's weird. I think I hear somebody outside. I'm going for it. Oh, gosh, camera. Oh! Oh, okay. Well, um, okay. <laughs> they did not seem to care. Uh, they did not seem to care. Okay, whatever. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I was being so careful and they didn't care. He did say there would be a chance they would recognize me, so I guess they just simply didn't recognize me. Maybe I got lucky. Um, oh, the Sinking City. I, I remember seeing a, uh, a, a trailer for that a long time ago. That one looked neat, too. Yeah. Jesper says, I have recently rewatched your Let's Play The Evil Within. In that game, you were very annoyed that the main character is opening the doors very slowly. So this is quite the opposite. You're right, Jesper. <laughs> hey, Slash33, th thanks for joining. I am wearing not clothes. I am, but uh, when I got this quest, uh, Vasco said that even with the not clothes, uh, they may recognize me. So that's why I tried to get a potion to begin with, and that's why I was sneaking. <coughs> Person was checking Facebook. Okay, so we got his stuff, and now uh, we're supposed to find Vasco to assess the situation. So um, let us do exactly that, and then we'll give him his clothes back. It's a good thing we're the same size. All right, Vasco. I was able to recover your file, Vasco, and nobody saw me. Well, Wonderful. Somebody did, you did see everything me. perfectly. So let's see what this file can tell us. So I was right. My real name is 
Leandra, son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. I must admit, I had no idea they'd given a son to the Nords. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco, but growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. Really? Well, whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. You gave me back my identity. This is more important than the Nords care to admit. Okay, well that was nice that we helped him out. Our reputation with Vasco has increased quite a, quite a bit, and I guess um, we're nice with him now. If we uh, bring up the uh, character screen, um, somewhere it tells our relationship with the character. Uh, Vasco right here. So relationship with him is nice, and we get a intuition friendship bonus, right? Uh, so that's kind of cool, kind of cool. He looks, he just looks ridiculous in this outfit. <laughs> I don't know why this maybe it's just a bad looking outfit but uh, let's give him his clothes back um i guess i could have done that on the screen i was just on huh okay so back to first of all uh, i need to change my clothes back to my main clothes my very fancy fancy outfit which is really the best outfit in the game i really don't know it's my favorite one so far so my doublet of good fortune and uh the gloves and the the boots with leaded heels, I guess. And now we switch back over to Vasco and we put his hat back on and his torso. Second in command's gloves and his second in command's cuisses. I really don't know that word. I'm not familiar with that word. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what other outfits are in the game, Alex. I mean, because so far they're pretty spiffy. He did look shady, didn't he, Joker? Vasco in that other outfit? Okay, so we took care of that. So now I'm in a situation where I have one day and four hours to come back to uh, the uh, vendor. Uh, here I'm supposed to set up all these camps. Uh, here I'm supposed to find the professor's notes. Kurt is... Kurt wants to go talk to or talk about a young recruit. So I guess maybe we could do this quest. This one may take place here in the city. So let's go ahead and talk to Kurt. Well, I think I'm supposed to talk to Kurt. I mean, that's what it says, right? It says, talk to Kurt. All right, let's talk to Kurt. Hey, Kurt, I'm going to talk to you now. Greenblood, tell me, do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? I would still like to present him to you. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? Uh, sure, let's accept to meet the recruit immediately. We still have about a day left before we have to go back to the merchant, so I think we'll be okay, especially since we don't have to sleep. And yeah, Kitten, the soundtrack for this game is quite nice, isn't it? But of course, let's go. Raina must be with the other recruits in the barracks. I've been asking myself why everyone calls you Captain, seeing as you have no ship. But now I'm beginning to understand. I'm happy to have poured some oil in your lantern, sailor. Okay. Uh, now we need to find the recruit in the barracks, and that is up here. Okay, so that's not too far away. Let's go find the recruit. I'm sure he's not sleeping right now. Uh, that word is pronounced quiz, Dwight? Interesting. Yeah, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance just was kind of like a victim of... A bunch of games to be played at the same time. Whoa, that was a weird camera angle. I did like the game, but at the time there were just other games that I wanted to play instead. So, too bad. I mean, there's just so many games and there's only so much time. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. 
and we go right here. Okay. Let me double check, make sure that we're fine here. Yeah, we still have a whole full day and three hours on that, so we'll, I think we'll be fine. Hmm, quiet in here. Oh, this is the guy we need to talk to. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service. Hmm, okay. Evoke the subject of Rainer. What? Uh, is that the new recruit? I don't remember Kurt saying his name. Let's ask for their formal presentations first, though. Let's make this all formal and official. Rank and assignment, soldiers. Recruit, first class, Blue Silver Regiment, 8th Company, Your Excellency. The Blue Silver Regiment is made up of men attributed to serve the Congregation of Merchants. I'm one of them, and the 8th Company was sent to Tier for D, with two other companies. Anything else, Excellency? Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. So if I ask for formal presentations, will the same the guy say the same thing, or will somebody else say something? Rank and assignment, soldiers. Recruit, first class, oh, same blue guy. silver regiment, the blue silver, and the... Anything else? Okay. Ask him their assignment. What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? Okay. Well, I guess we're going to evoke the subject of Rainer. Ooh, hey, Neptune nerd. I don't know why that was so loud. I thought I fixed that. Sorry if it startled you guys. It startled me. Huh, that's that's weird. I, I fixed that. Anyway. I'm looking for the soldier, Rayner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene. Just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, should I have a word with the Quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? Mm, I guess that's it. That will be all. At ease, soldiers. Yeah, the combat mechanics in Kingdom Come Deliverance were, were a bit complex. Yeah, Joker, I'm sorry, man. I, I, I do not know why that was so loud. Um... But, uh, I mean, it is something that I really did change, like, two episodes ago, I think, because it was loud before. Uh, I'm checking right now, in case you're wondering why it stopped. Because I don't want it to... I don't want to discourage people from following, right? Um, so, let me just uh, check it out again, and I could maybe find out why that was so loud. Um, so let's see here. That was a subscriber, right? I, I mean, I got it turned way down. I, I don't know why it was so loud. Um, hmm. I don't know. It's something I'm going to have to look at at some point. Um, yeah. Hmm. I don't know why. I apologize. I will look into that off off camera, as they say. Uh, <laughs> Skylight says you are very patient and very committed with games, especially with long games. I wish I can have that kind of patience, especially with long games like Skyrim, but I get bored very easily. Well, I have gotten get bored with games, um, but uh, I try to finish what I start on my channel. Although it's happening less and less as uh, uh, if there's more and more games coming out. Uh, Kitten says your videos is how I figured out what to play. Now I want to play this game. Cool. So now what am I supposed to do? Now I'm supposed to, um, find the young recruit in the barracks. So I'm still doing the same thing. Am I just supposed to walk around until I find the recruit? Yes, it looks that way. Let's talk to this guy, the quartermaster. Maybe he could know, or he will know where uh, this person is. Hello, your excellency. What can I do for you? Mm, well, let's ask him about this recruit. I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rainer. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rainer? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Informed about what? He is dead. Oh my. He was found. Drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. 
I don't believe it. Hmm. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least now you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? Hmm. Well, um, we could ask him some more questions about him, I guess. <laughs> that is a murder. I agree with you, Florisol. This is fishy. Where did you say we could find the doctor? In the basement. The morgue. He hardly ever leaves the place. Is there anything else? Nope, that's it. See you later, bye. No, thank you. Hmm, this is fishy, man. This is fishy. Investigate the morgue, okay. Um, is it in the basement of this building we're in now? I believe it is. Here's some stairs over here, but they don't go down. Um... Oh, it's, pardon me, gentlemen. <laughs> we'll just leave them be. <laughs> um, so I need to go down. And see, this is... Okay, good, that thing went away over top of his head. Are, are you taking off, kitten? A virtual meeting to attend for work. I hope it's a good meeting. Thank you for joining. I hope to see you again soon, kitten. Take care. Uh, well, ooh, interesting. Loot. I mean, I don't want to loot something right in front of these people, even though I am the legate. Jasper, thank you so much. Just because. <laughs> well, that one wasn't too loud, right? Hopefully that one wasn't too loud. I thought that one sounded okay. Thank you so much, Jasper. My goodness. Oh, what's... Oh, well, we found more dudes out here. All right, where the heck am I going to find these stairs that go down? Maybe I could look at the map, huh? Let me look at the map of this place. There's some stairs here, so I need to go this way and... Oh, that'll go up and that'll go down. Okay, so I'm kind of facing the right direction. Okay, so that one was okay. Darko, thank you for letting me know. Ooh, here we go. Here's some stairs. Missed these before. Dwight, you know they're from Galaga. I, I dig them too. I love those sound effects. Um, maybe we go in this door right here. Alex, you don't think I would get in trouble uh, for looting in front of them? What place have I found here? This does not look like the morgue. It looks like I'm in another brothel. The heck? Well, now it's telling me I have to go upstairs. What the hell, game? <laughs> Where the heck am I supposed to go? Alex, uh, that fox picture. Uh, Jesper, the guy that just uh, donated, he drew that. <laughs> you should check out his artwork. Jesper, if you want, put your uh, a link to your website there. Um, Jesper is a very, very talented artist. His, his work is amazing. I just love his work. Well now, a visit. Can I help you with something? Okay. Well, uh, first let's ask him about his personal role before we get down to business. Whatever is a doctor of the Bridge Alliance doing in the barracks of the new Serene Coin Guard? I was posted here from the University of Al Saad, as per their agreement with the Guard. Agreement? What sort of agreement? The Guard requested dedicated doctors for the care of their troops. The university accepted under two conditions, that the doctors practice only in the territories of the bridge or her allies, and that we have the privilege of examining all of their corpses in the interest of anatomical study. These requests were made official thanks to the agreement charter, and I must say we have been able to increase our knowledge of anatomy immensely. Anything else? Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know what that area was out there, but it looked like a I mean, it didn't look like a morgue. There were beds and pillows all over the place. It's some fancy morgue. Well, let's get right down to business here and ask him about the death of Rainer. We are here concerning the matter of recruit Rainer. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. Okay. Hmm. Well, what day did he get here? When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Oh, okay. Um, can you give me any details concerning the circumstances of the death? Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seemed to share. Rayner was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. 
His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn, and they brought him to me. Hmm. Well, give me more details on the cause of his death. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret it. Okay, well, let's go take a look at the body. I mean, <laughs> comfortable morgue, Flora. <laughs> Very comfortable morgue, yes. Might we take a look at the body? Um, no, I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. I'm a soldier, Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain. I cannot allow that. What the heck is going on? Well, let us insist before we go threatening people. I have as of yet to present myself. I'm Sir de Sade, legate of the Congregation of Merchants on Tiafredi. And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I see. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I should have recognized you and shown more respect. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. Man, I tell you, I like being the legged man. I just throw my weight around, say my name, and all of a sudden people change their tune. It's awesome. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now uh, we're supposed to investigate the morgue. So I wonder why he didn't want us to look at the body. I mean, at first he was like, oh, I don't want you to look at it because it'll make you queasy. And the dude's like, dude, I've seen people blown to bits. And he's like, nah, still can't let you do it. And now, all of a sudden, he's like, well, okay, your excellency, go ahead. So I really wonder why he didn't want us to see the body. He is sketchy, isn't he, Joker? This, there is something sketchy about him. So there's the body, but first, oh, there's another body over here. Oh, huh, okay. Well, I don't know which body is which. Um, let me examine this one. This doesn't look like the body of young Rayner. You've never met him. <laughs> How do you know if it's his body or not? Okay, so this is this might be a problem here because um, if I had science level two, I could examine this body and maybe get more information about it but right now i'm just going to examine it as a big dumb dodo and be like yep he looks dead so golly man i don't i don't want to wait until i get to level nine and then use my talent point on science just so i can get to level two i just have to face facts that i'm not a science guy before we examine that let's see if he says the same thing over here this doesn't look like the body of young Reyna. Hey, Dax. Thanks for joining. Good to see you again. All right. I'm going to examine it. I, I don't have science level two. I mean, let, let me try. Let's see what happens. You do not have the required talent level. Well, let's examine him. This is probably going to be a big bust, but here we go. This one is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Reyna. Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. If you want to learn more, we'll need to examine the body. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor, but this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. Hmm. It looks like he's been beaten. Uh, it's suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I believe you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Oh my. Hmm. Find evidence of the lie. Well, maybe we pick up that book over there and we read everything we need to know about examining bodies in a morgue. <laughs> Let's pick it up. Preliminary autopsy results. The subject is a young man under the age of 20. He has several hematomas on the entirety of the body surface some more recent than others. Forearm bones are broken, lesions on the hands, several broken ribs, skull is sunken, likely to be the cause of death. So this guy just flat out lied to us in the other room. What the heck is going on? I mean, he had to know we were going to come in here and see this, so... This is strange. He is, he is shady, absolutely. 
confront the doctor with his lies. That is exactly what we are going to do. But first, let's look around this cool room. It's a pretty cool room, right? Now see, this This looks kind of morgy. It doesn't have pillows and beds <laughs> and fancy sh silk sheets. This looks more like a morgue. All right, dude, you want to explain yourself, Mr. Medical Examiner? Or is that what you really are? Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. Hmm. Dude, I'm going to show you your own notes. Look at these. It is a chill stream, isn't it, Crimson? That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, <laughs> but the word drowning never appears. Oh, what an idiot. I should have burned those notes. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given no choice in the matter. How's that? What are you talking about? Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual, but the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Who were they? I have no idea. I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess they're ranked by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively and that was the cause of death. I have no intention mm. of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. My yeah. condolences, Kurt. I'm truly sorry. I know the pain of losing a crew member. Thank you, Vasco. Mm. So <laughs> we're like, don't you worry, we won't tell anybody about your name. Uh, however, everybody saw us walk in here and we talked to a bunch of people. So people know that we were here. So good luck, medical examiner. Best of luck to you. Uh, ask the intendant for his advice. Um, Gostano is saying, I think when you craft armor, you can add a point to a skill, such as science or lockpicking, can save skill points that way, if I remember correctly. That's interesting. I'll have to look into that. Thank you. <laughs> Shannon says, I don't believe that man has ever been to medical school. <laughs> uh, Michelle, hey, thank you so much for joining. You missed quite a bit. It was busy watching Skyrim and growling. Is that what, is that what that says? <laughs> You were growling, Michelle? What's going on over there? Okay, what, and, and what... What is going on in this room? Somebody tell me what's going on in here. What? What is it? Why is this room right next to the morgue? I mean, it... Tell me this is not a brothel. Look at this woman over here kind of motioning towards this man sitting in the chair. What in the world is going on? Can I talk to any of these people? Can't talk to him. Oh, she walks away. Can't talk to her. This guy's just flat out ignoring me. This is very, very strange. <laughs> There's so many people in here we can't move about. There's a little partition here. What in the world is going on in this room? <laughs> okay. There's a, is this the door I came in? Okay, that was the door. There's another door in here. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> What's going on in here? Oh, this is like the VIP lounge. What in the world? Okay. Oh, this is where we were just a moment ago. This is the guy. The the okay. So this is very strange. Okay, this is interesting. Hmm. It does. Yeah, this is this is indeed a brothel, or at least they set up a brothel here in the basement for the for the men um, or women. I don't know. Women might want to come down here too. Okay, uh, let us go back up here, and we need to speak with the intendant. What is that noise? Oh, scrubbing there. 
All right, dude. Let's speak with Quartermaster Manfred. Hello, Your Excellency. Hello. What can I do for you? Uh, let us talk about this poor boy's death. We have a situation, Manfred. Rainer didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. What? He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And he wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rainer assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th. <laughs> before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. It's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. Let's try and discover which company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Is there anything else? Thank you so much for your donation, Sky Lighthouse. It's very kind of you. Hope that things are going well with you and your family. Everything's going well with mine. Except I do worry about my brother. He's one of the essential people in that he works in a warehouse and he's shipping a ton of stuff, working 10 hours a day, six days a week. And I'm really worried he's going to bring home the, the virus and give it to my mom. But other than that, everything's great. <laughs> Crimson says, by the way, loving the Skyrim playthrough. That's nice to hear, Crimson. I'm glad you're enjoying it. So this guy's kind of fishy too, um, and it really bothered me that Kurt just flat out told him that the doctor falsified the reports. I thought we were going to leave the doctor's name out of it, but when Kurt said it, I thought, well, maybe, maybe Kurt really trusts this guy, but now I don't trust him. He seems pretty fishy too. He's like, oh, well, I don't know what he got assigned to. I don't know. You got to take off for work, Alex? Well, I mean, sorry you have to work, but i um, glad you have a job. No, thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. <laughs> Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Did you see all those missions show up there? All those quest items? <laughs> Look at all this. Uh, this says investigate the tavern. We have to question the lieutenant of the 11th regiment, the 8th regiment, the 6th regiment, all these places here we gotta go to. Let's check on this one here. We still have 21 hours and 59 minutes, so we we'll have to time this just right, man, so that we come back and help that guy. Uh, but in the meantime, we have to investigate all these other places. Um, are these lieutenants in this building or are they in a different building? I don't know. Uh, I guess this guy's on the upper floor here. This guy's on the upper floor. And this guy, I can't seem to hide. Oh, wait This guy is... Also on the upper floor. Okay, so all these guys are in this building. So let's question these lieutenants before we leave and go to the tavern. Okay, we saw stairs over here, so let's go up. Hey, boot, jerk. Walked right in front of me. Did you see that? Mm, this way, maybe? Yeah, this is a big place, man. For a minute, I was worried that this, this was a dead end. In here, maybe? Uh, yeah, looks like we need to go in here. Let's go in here and talk to this guy. <laughs> Listen to the sound effect. <laughs> I stand here. See how many push-ups they do. All right, dude, I need to speak with you, sixth company officer. Thanks, Alex. Hope you have a good day, too. Uh, I'll be playing it again uh, tomorrow, same time. And then, of course, I'll post it um, later tonight on my channel. Uh, J Joker's asking, what game should we look forward to after the current ones? Um, well, I mean, when the Wastelanders DLC comes out for Fallout 76, I'll definitely be playing that. Uh, when I finish Control... 
Uh, there's a DLC for that that I will play. And um, then after that, I don't know. Uh, I'm just, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, since I'm not working right now, I'm not spending any money on games. So I'm just uh, working my way through uh, games that are in my library. And this game here was actually uh, purchased for me as a gift by King Rat. So that's why I was able to play this one. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, <laughs> Michelle says, growling as in, Ugh, you're going to miss out on so much with the role you've chosen to play. Oh, okay. So you, I'm going to miss out on uh, stuff on, on my Skyrim, I bet you're talking about. Well, we'll s I, I know what you're talking about, Michelle. You're talking about the fact that I'm being a kinder, gentler uh, adventurer. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Uh, you're taking off, Flora. Thank you so much for joining. Always nice to see you. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Let's speak with this guy. Good day, Lieutenant. Excellency, what's your pleasure? Mm. Give me identification. What company do you serve? The Sixth Excellency. Anything else? <laughs> uh, tell me about your assignment. To where are you assigned? The Sixth Company is in charge of exploration and expansion of the colony of the Congregation of Merchants on the island. We operate mainly in the wilderness areas, in direct contact with the natives. But don't worry, we respect to the letter, congregation, directives and standing orders. We avoid all confrontation with them as much as possible. Anything else? Well, let's get right down to business, man. Let's ask him if he knows who Rainer is, or was. We're investigating the death of Rainer, a young recruit. Do you know anything about it? Sorry, Your Excellency. That name doesn't ring a bell. And I know nothing about a death. That's truly a pity. So, uh, Alex is suggesting I play Sinking City. Like I said, uh, that does look like a cool game, but I don't have it in my library. Uh, so he doesn't know anything about Rainer, or at least that's what he says. So now we need to go and speak with another one of these dudes. If we look on our map, there's somebody in this room behind us here. Nice and convenient that he's close by. Hello, 8th Company officer. Lieutenant. Excellency, can I help you? No, it's a woman. Give me identification. What company do you serve, Lieutenant? The Eighth Company, Excellency. Excellency. I like the way she says that. Give me your assignment. Where are you assigned? My company, the Eighth Company, is responsible for city and palace security. A capital assignment. As for myself, I'm essentially in charge of training and managing the recruits. We have quite a few here. The youngsters are attracted to the dream of Tear for D. And believe me, if we want them to live up to their duties, there's no time to dally. Excellency. I tell you what, I really like the voice acting in this game. And I, <laughs> not to dig on Skyrim, but I really like that there's such a wide variety of voice actors. Skyrim, if you've played it, you know, it's like the same, what, five people? I'm sure it's more than that do the same voices or or do uh, different characters but use the same voice. So it's really nice to see such a variety of uh, voice actors in this game. And I think the voice acting is done really well. We are investigating the death of a young recruit named Rainer. Do you know anything about the matter? No, sorry, Your Excellency. That name is completely foreign to me. And I pride myself on knowing the names of all my recruits. As a matter of fact, they were all present at roll call. Okay. Uh, Sky, Sky Lighthouse, I did see your donation. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I hope more people find my channel too. Thank you. Hope you and your family are safe. Take care. Um, hmm. Well, let us uh, insist that she speaks to us. Or let's let Kurt speak. Lieutenant, the lad that we're talking about was one of my own recruits. Someone pretended that he drowned himself, while in truth he'd been severely beaten to death. Assassinated. You more than anyone should understand what I'm feeling. So if you have anything else to say... My condolences, Captain. I understand, and I'm sorry. I don't really know much about this affair. I've just heard people talking, and I know that it's frowned upon to broach the subject, especially with people on the outside. What happens in the Guard concerns only the Guard. I know that. But I'm not sure myself. Is that right? All I can tell you is that Rainer isn't the first to vanish from his company. Hmm. Other youths, the most promising among us, are regularly reassigned. I don't know where they've gone, nor what they do, but we never see them again. That's all I can tell you. Now leave me in peace. <laughs> She's all bossy. Now leave me in peace. 
Okay, well, we knew we learned a little bit more from her, I guess. A little bit? Uh, we still need to question the lieutenant of the 11th regiment and investigate the tavern. But uh, we will do that next time, as it is time for me to sign off here. As always, I thank you guys so much for joining me. It's always so nice to see so many people joining and talking and just having a good time. Like Crimson said, this is a chill stream. I dig it. Thank you all so much for joining. Uh, I will be playing this game again tomorrow, same time, same place. I sure hope that you all join me then. Hope you all stay safe. Hope your families are safe. And hope you all take care of yourselves. See you all tomorrow.